Blue Lock characters all possess unique weapons and playstyles specific to each character, but what is each player truly able to do with the weapons in their arsenal? For today's video, I'm going to be covering Megadude Bachira and the weapons in his player arsenal. Before I get into the video though, spoilers for the Blue Lock manga and if you are not caught up to the latest chapters of the Blue Lock manga, click off this video right now. Now to begin, I believe that we should start with discussing Bachira's style of play, that being the dribbler. Dribblers are players known for their close ball control ability that is used to get past defenders by a sudden change of direction and acceleration, sometimes combined with their great pace. The skill is used to create opportunities for other attackers or to score themselves, having broken through the opposition's defense using what is sometimes referred to as trickery. Bachelor's dribbling technique allows for him to break through most defenses, with only high-level players being able to stop him, but it is very rare to see the ball actually get stolen from him. His dribbling is rivaled by only a handful of players in Blue Lock, and mixed with his key passing skill, he has proven to be a much-needed asset on any team. After the initial training of the new Iguis League, Bajadai has evolved his dribbling by moving away from his proactive dribbling to a more counteractive dribbling, preferring to read his opponent's movements first, maturing in the way he moves down the field. But now that we've covered his playstyle, let's look at his weapons. Bajadai's first core weapon is his elastic dribbling, which was first displayed in chapter 3 of the manga or episode 2 of the anime. Bajadai's dribbling style relies on his supreme technique and creativity to get through other players' defenses. His dribbling ability is derived off of his free-flowing nature, allowing for his dribbles to be elastic and almost wavy-like. His next core weapon is Key Passing, which he first displays in Chapter 2 of the manga or Episode 1 of the anime. Key Passing allows for Bachata to make passes to key players during a match that result in a positive outcome for the team. This can come in the form of a long-range distance pass or short one-two combos that break down an opponent's defensive line. And his last core weapon is Reflexivity, which first debuts in Chapter 2 of the manga or Episode 1 of the anime. Now, Reflexivity allows for Bajada to move solely based on what either the monster tells him or his own intuition. This Reflexivity is highly partnered with his dribbling or passing weapons in order to create golden opportunities for whichever team that he's on. Now, unlike the other characters that I've done before, Bajada's weapons evolve like Pokemon. Each stage of his evolution provides new techniques to his dribble and passing weapons rather than creating brand new weapons. The next stage of his weapons are egotistical dribbling and advanced passes. Both of these weapons have new techniques incorporated into them that increase their potency during a game. Egotistical dribbling is an evolved form of Bachata's dribbling style, first debuted in chapter 84 of the manga or episode 22 of the anime. During the second selection, Bachata evolved his dribbling to a new egotistical style where he refuses to pass the ball, preferring to move dynamically past defenders alone. This allows for him to use the skills that I'm about to list in order to score goals on his own rather than relying on others. That being said, he will still pass to others who he sees are in a good position, being Nagi, Isagi, and Rin, just to name a few. Now his first technique incorporated into this new style is called Hyperspeed Scissors, first demonstrated in chapter 26 of the manga or episode 9 of the anime. Bachata repeatedly steps over the ball, causing his opponent to slow down and attempt to predict where he will move, which gives him an opportunity to pass them. This move is technically used in combination with another technique in order to juke out an opponent, as hyperspeed scissors alone isn't enough to pass skilled players. The next technique is called Marseille Turn, which was first displayed in chapter 26 of the manga or episode 9 of the anime. This move typically follows hyperspeed scissors, which allows for him to fully juke a player simply by performing a roulette spin. And the technique after this is called Aerial Elastica, which was first also shown in chapter 26 of the manga or episode 9 of the anime. Bachata either lobs the ball upwards or lifts it using his elastic dribbling, which baits an enemy close before allowing him to blow past them. The next technique is Rabona Chip, which was first displayed in chapter 26 of the manga or episode 9 of the anime. This technique allows for Bachata to lob the ball over an opponent by kicking the ball with his leg crossed behind the other, and we see him first do this to score on Team V in the first selection. The next skill is Double Touch Faint, which was first displayed in chapter 113 of the manga. This skill is similar to Hyperspeed Scissors, where Bachata quickly performs repeated double touches as if the ball is glued to his feet, confusing the opponent. And the last skill of his second stage dribbling is Aerial Rush Turn, also first displayed in chapter 113 of the manga. Bajita plants his foot on top of the ball before turning at max speed, dragging the ball along his running course, allowing for a swift blow past an opponent. Now those were all the techniques for Bajita's second stage dribbling, but next up are the skills for his second stage passes. First up is his Top Spin Daisy Cutter, first displayed in chapter 47 of the manga or episode 13 of the anime. Bajada sends a pass that's very near touching the ground with insane top spin. This pass is intended for those with insane ball control that allow the receiver to redirect the ball's momentum in order to give them a better opportunity to perform with that said pass. The next skill is Skyborne Daisy Cutter, first displayed in chapter 75 of the manga or episode 20 of the anime. This pass has the exact opposite effect as the other pass, giving it insane backspin, allowing for his low-flying Daisy Cutter to soar upwards as it reaches its correct trajectory. 
Now this pass is usually directed towards those with insane jumping potential or just insane natural height, which allows for them to intercept the pass in the air before anyone else can. The next skill is No Look Pass, which was first used in Chapter 74 of the manga or Episode 20 of the anime. Bachata uses the Rabona technique to pass without looking. He is also able to use the technique to trick his opponent into pressing him when in actuality, he's baiting them into opening up a window for him to pass through. And the last passing skill is called Link Crossover, which was first used in Chapter 15 of the manga or Episode 5 of the anime. Bachata uses the movements of another player to pinpoint a pass that would allow this specific player to shine. He most often performs this cross with Isagi, as Isagi is another player who Bajra can link up with very easily. Now those were all of his stage 2 weapons and techniques. However, Bajra has a third stage of evolution, specifically for his dribbling weapon, only when combined with his reflexivity weapon. Bajra's third stage of his dribbling style is called Monster Trans, also known as his flow state, which was first shown in chapter 141 of the manga. Bajra yields into his impulses, effectively becoming the monster that he used to envision. This state allows for him to perform his techniques incredibly quickly, including multiple feints and moving purely on instinct. Since he moves without conscious thought, it is incredibly difficult to predict and stop from the defender's perspective. In this state, Bacha was able to easily overcome the U20 defenders and even Oliver Aiku, the best defender shown in the entire series, not counting Lorenzo. This evolved style does come with a new technique as well. This skill is called Monster Smash Lift, which was first displayed in chapter 141 of the manga. Monster Smash Lift allows for Bachata to quickly lift the ball before smashing it towards the ground, launching it directly over the opponent's head. This move is almost unpredictable as the motions he makes up until the moment of impact reflect that of a shooting motion, which when actually leading into a smash lift, results in the enemy having to readjust their position for a counter, which is when Bachata slips past them. Now with this third stage of evolution, Bachata can still continue to use all of the techniques from his previous evolution, almost to a heightened degree. And with Bachata's final stage, he evolves his flow state even more by incorporating Lavinho's Jinga, which he learned from Spain's FC Barcha, creating a new skill called Jinga X Monster, first displayed in chapter 160 of the manga. Incorporating Jinga allows for Bachata to not only refine his dribbling posture, but also the speed of his techniques, allowing for him to easily become a one-man dribbling army. This new style also produces a few new techniques, first called Beast Shot, which first debuted in chapter 161 of the manga. Bachata's dribbling allows for him to destroy an entire backline, then after receiving a pass, he twists his entire body before shooting, hitting with the bottom of his heel, producing a low power but quick and accurate chip shot to any place that he chooses. And the second technique that he learns is called Trick Break, which first debuts in chapter 160 of the manga. Bachata takes note of Sai's counter dribble technique that he saw in the U20 match, and lets his opponent act first which allows for his monster X Jenga style to quickly flow past them, while only acting the moment the opponent gets into a position that would be difficult to recover from. An example being the moment that they take a step. But that is currently every weapon, skill, and technique in Megaru Bachata's arsenal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as I had a ton of fun making it. And for the question of the video, which of Bachata's moves do you want to see him use again? Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. Also, this will be the last video that I post in 2023, and I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has liked, subbed, left a comment, or even just simply watched any of my content. It has been an absolute dream of mine to be able to do this, and now I honestly believe that I have a pretty good shot, simply just by talking about anime. So again, I'm truly thankful to all of you. So, thank you all for watching, like and subscribe for more content just like this, and I will see you in 2024.